Hi, lovely people of Food Tube. I'm gonna make this fantastic pasta frittata. When you cook so much pasta, you got some left. What do you have to do it? So this way is to reuse it again, the pasta. So it will be good to use the next day, or perhaps you go have some picnic, you can bring with you, cut it, and join. So simple, so nice way to do, so tasty. First of all, you need four egg. Make sure you get a lovely fresh egg. Free chicken eggs. What is free chicken egg? But the chicken are there free to run around, they like those beautiful eggs. Season it with a little bit of salt, not too much salt, because remember when you boil the pasta, there is already salt inside the water. Pepper. Yes, you have to use pepper. Fork. Yeah, I grabbed it. Whisk, whisk. A bit more luck. Whisk. Done it. Ah, get some lovely parmesan. Grab it. I got I'm good today. Lovely parmesan. If you don't have a parmesan, other cheese will do. A longer is good for grated. About 40 grams. Bit more again. All in. Look at that. This is about 400 grams. It's going to serve about four or five people. So good. Get a fork. You have to mix all in properly. You can tell when actually you get to the pasta start to get loose. Look, now it's all well mixed. Let's start to cook it. You need about three tablespoons of olive oil. Make sure you use that very good olive oil. Just one, two, and three. Make sure the pan and the olive oil, it is quite hot because when it actually we put the pasta inside, I want it to seal straight away. They create a kind of a crust underneath. Right, let's do it. Slowly don't burn yourself. Do you know what? It goes all in, look at that. Yes! Let it seal all nice. But make sure you use no stick frying pan because you want to keep everything in a shape. Don't move it now. You cook on moderate heat for about five minutes. So on the side, look, it starts to cook nice. Start to seal nice. Now it's been cooked for about five minutes. Now it goes inside the oven, but temperature about 200 centigrade for about five minutes. Let's chop some tomato. You need about five to six cherry tomato. Depends on the size. You know, this is the perfect size. I slice it because I'm going to put it on top and I give it a lovely freshness. That give it that Italian flavor, that Italian taste. Now let's have a look if it's ready. Be careful when you open the oven because the handles got very, very, very hot. Look at that. This is the way I want it because it's nice and firm here. So use a plate which you can cover all the pan. So with a cloth, you double up, grab it from underneath and turn it upside down. Look at that. I'm going to put them, no, actually, I'm going to put them on top here just to lift it. Oh my, my, look at that beauty. Then you put it back, back to the pan. Now I'm gonna use some mozzarella, but you can use a fontina cheese. Little slice of a mozzarella. And then finish with a tomato before you put it back in the oven. Little salt, little pepper, little olive oil. Put it back in the oven for about another five minutes. Oh. Look at that. Look at this beauty. It's all done. I need to grate it some cheese on top. Look at the way it melted nicely. Put some nice little leaves of a basil. Oh, ho, 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 ho. And look at that. This is a full meal. This is so fantastic because when you go on picnic or perhaps smacked on in the middle of the tables, Cut it, serve it. With this particular one, it can easily serve four people. Yes. Oh, my mind. Look at that. This is, looks so delicious. I'm going to have a taste. I can't just leave it this baby the way it is. Look at this. You can see all the steam. It is so delicious. It's incredible delicious. So lovely people, this is my pasta frittata from my food tube pasta book. If you want to see more of this fantastic recipe, just click the link and let's enjoy it together. But this is so fantastic, so easy, so nice. You can make it. Arrivederci, ciao!